To use the demo option, you have to go to server.tbio.info. Here under the transcriptomics section, you will have an arrow that you can open up and see several projects that are available as demo. In Transcriptomics 1, we use the PDX project as an example. You click on this link and now you can build a demo pipeline. By clicking on Start, you are initializing the first step. You can read a little bit about RNA-seq and the logic of how different sections and different methods are applied to the data that we uploaded for you. Here you can also check the input files. The input files include links.svl. If you download this file, you'll be able to open it in any text format and then see the links to the files that are already stored on the server. Now you have several options. You can explore the different sections like preprocessing, mapping on genome, isoform construction, mapping on transcripts, and quantification of expression levels. Let's build a pipeline that includes preprocessing steps like Trimomatic, PCR Clean, and then we have several options for mapping. We can either map on the genome with Bowtie2G, and after mapping on genome, we can visualize the mapped reads. You can always go back by right-clicking on your previous selection. You will get a pop-up where you can click on OK. The other option is to use mapping on transcripts with Bowtie2T. By clicking here, you will be able to map on the GTF file reference transcripts and not the full genome. If you click on OK, you will be able to quantify the expression levels using RSEM. RSEM expression table. Clicking on RSEM expression table, you will also see what is your output, and the output is the table of expression. Click on OK. Now you have the option to do differential gene expression analysis. This is covered in Transcriptomics 2. So for now, we can end this pipeline by clicking on End. You can read more about these different sections and the different pipelines available by going to the transcriptomics section. Now you get download output files. Here you have several outputs. You can get all of the outputs as a zip file or download individual ones, either filtered or non-filtered, expression of genes, isoforms, and also mapping statistics for mapping on the transcriptome. Let's take a look at the mapped RSEM expression genes, FPKM. When the file is downloaded, we can find it in the Downloads folder. This file could be opened in Excel or any kind of table manipulation software. Inside, we see that we have a number of different samples are available in this table. Some of them are marked as ERs, that stands for estrogen receptor positive, and some of them stand for TN, or triple negative. In the rows, we will be able to see different types of genes. ENSG stands for human genes, but we will also find ENSMUS, or genes that come from the mouse genome. We can create another demo pipeline using a different method. For example, we can use sailfish that will map our data using a database. It will not require a reference genome and GTF file. Now you get different types of outputs where you have FPKM, read count, and TPM for both genes and isoforms. Let's take a look at what's inside. As you can see, the names of the columns stayed the same. However, here, all of a sudden, we have a lot of genes that have zero expression. If we scroll to the top of this table, you will see, because it's called filtered, you won't see any genes that have zero expression across all samples. With sailfish, however, you get a lot of those genes. So you can see here a lot more genes if you scroll down to the bottom.
So you get a total of 96,698 genes as opposed to here we only have 3,311 genes. What other options do we have in this demo? Let's take a look at some of the visualization. For example, we can visualize without preprocessing using Bowtie2G and then clicking on the visualization button. The visualization button will use the JBrowse genome browser that will show us how the reads align to the reference genome. You can see that now I selected visualization only on the human genome, not the mouse genome. Let's click on visualization. In the visualization section, I'll be able to see all of my samples where I can select whether I want to look at coverage and SNP or alignment. And I can compare how reads from different samples align to the reference genome. Remember, this is only the human genome. Here I will have different chromosomes that I can select, and I can also search for different genes right here. You will see here the actual gene, the exons, are marked by red. If there are no reads that map to this region, I won't be able to see anything below. However, here I can navigate and zoom in or zoom out to see the information about the genes and about the reads that I have. The, far, the farther I scroll out, the more I can easily navigate and see the reads. This is an educational data set, so we actually won't see that many reads aligned. But in some portions, there will be more. If I want to zoom in, I can go right here and zoom in to see where the reads are aligned to. So these reads are aligned to these exons. If I expand this further, I will also be able to see the reference on the genome. You see it says here, zoom in to see sequence. So you can clearly see that the reads are aligned, but there's not that many reads in most of them. For example, you can see that all the ER, estrogen receptor positive, don't have that many reads. They're under three to five in FPKM. But here, sorry, this is not, these are raw counts and not FPKM. They're not normalized for anything. However, here in the triple negative, you can see that I have a lot more reads. It goes all the way up to 70. The abundant areas fall on exons, like here. If I zoom in further, I will be able to also see the reference sequence of the genome. What other pipelines can be built? I can also look at variation that comes as a result of different pre-processing, different types of mapping, as well as different types of quantification strategies. If I add, if I add pre-processing steps, I'll be able to use, for example, HiSat2, and then after I've added HiSat2, I can use HTSeq. In this video, we saw how we can create different demo pipelines and get the expression data quickly by looking at different projects in the RNA-seq section. If we go back to areas of analysis, Again, you can open this section by clicking on this arrow and selecting a number of different projects that you can practice this with.